Hello friends, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Yami's Biology. So today uh, is a different method of teaching you. Uh, I'm not teaching you with the help of my own handwriting. Today is about the notes kind of thing. I'm going to teach you this soil plant atmosphere continuum. Many of you are unaware of the exact notes that are available. I have these one and today I'm going to sharing share it with you. Okay, so let's study. Uh, what is soil plant atmosphere continuum? First, we have to figure out what is the meaning of the term, which is the soil plant atmosphere continuum. It is the movement of water from soil to the plant and then to the atmosphere in a continuous way. Okay, so movement of this jo ye ja rahe, series, movement of water from soil to the plant ultimately to the atmosphere in a continuous manner which is called the SPAC also called SPAC SPAC in sabki short form so we have seen that the movement of water from the soil through the plant to the atmosphere involves different mechanisms of transport Matlab, it's not important that water only moves with the help of diffusion and it only moves with the help of osmosis and it also has another mechanism which is you might have aware of uh, you might are aware, aware of which is the cohesion tension theory okay so the first point is in the soil and the xylem water moves by bulk flow in response to pressure gradient ke soil se or xylem mein jo water ki movement hoti hai like water moves from soil to the root cells and ultimately to the xylem by movement towards the pressure gradient like if the soil has high quantity of water and if the plant has minimum quantity of water plant roots have minimum quantity of water then the, then the water definitely going to move from higher potential towards the lower potential so water move from soil to the plant and plant roots and if the water, uh, water potential in the plant roots is greater as compared to the xylem vessels then definitely water moves with the help of diffusion from the roots towards the xylem vessel okay so in the soil and the xylem water moves with the bulk flow not with minimum drops of water move but a heavy amount of water moves from soil to the roots and then to the xylem okay so after this in the vapor phase, water moves primarily by diffusion at least until it reaches the outside air where convection becomes dominant. Achha ji. So, vapor phase mein hota hai, water moves primarily by diffusion at least until it reaches the outside air whereas where the convection becomes dominant. Vapor phase tak water moves by diffusion. Uh, matlab, uh, it means that before going into the atmosphere water mainly moves with the help of diffusion like if the water content in the soil is greater as compared to roots water will definitely going to move from the soil to the roots and if the water content in the in the roots is uh, greater as compared to xylem water will move from the roots towards the xylem and if the concentration of water in the xylem becomes higher then it definitely going to move from the xylem towards the leaf cells and if the leaf if cell has higher amount of water as compared to the atmosphere humidity then definitely water is going to transpire all this is happening is diffusion the next point is when water is transported across membrane the driving force is the water potential difference across the membrane read it again when water is transported across the membrane the driving force is the water potential across the membrane like if the water move from from one cell to other cell so there is a potential difference across the membrane potential difference the potential difference is maintained is actually done with the diffusion process like if one cell has high potential of water as compared to other water will definitely going going from this cell to the low water potential cell such as motic flow occurs uh, Take into account that we considered here is osmosis, not diffusion. You guys know the difference between the osmosis and diffusion. The only diff both have uh, 
द मूवमेंट ऑफ वॉटर फ्रॉम हायर पोटेंशियल टू वर्ड द लोअर पोटेंशियल बट विद वन एक्सेप्शन दैट डिफ्यूजन कैन बी डन इन एनी 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 मैकेनिज्म बट ओस्मोसिस कैन बी डन ओनली इफ द मेम्ब्रेन इज अकर लाइक इफ द मूवमेंट ऑफ वॉटर फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट टू दिस पार्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ मेम्ब्रेन देन दिस इज ऑस्मोसिस एंड इफ द मेम्ब्रेन इज नॉट प्रेजेंट देन दिस इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू बी डिफ्यूजन सो वी हैव डिस्कस दैट डिफरेंस अक्रॉस द मेम्ब्रेन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मेम्ब्रेन दैट्स वाई वी कॉल्ड इट एस्मोसिस ठीक है सच एस्मोटिक फ्लो अकर्स वेन सेल्स एब्जॉर्व वॉटर एंड द वॉटर वेन रूट्स ट्रांसपोर्ट वॉटर फ्रॉम सोयल्स टू दायरम सेम थिंग विच आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू Okay the next thing is in all of these situations water move toward regions of low water potential or free energy as i already told you that water in whole spec theory is the diffusion or osmosis mainly the diffusion or osmosis but but also the cohesion tension theory as well uh, which state that diffusion and osmosis state that water moves toward the region of low water potential or free energy actually cohesion tension theory is same this phenomenon is illustrated illustrated with the help of this diagram i'm not going to describe this diagram to you you have to read it yourself okay uh which shows the representative values and its components are based on um, okay water potential decreases continually from the soil to the leaves however the components of water potential can be quite different at different parts of the pathway like if the the water is is now transcribed transcription happens then definitely the water potential in the leaves is the leaf surface becomes lower as compared to the whole plant definitely theek hai so there are differences in water potential in different parts of the plant for example inside the leaf cells such as in mesophyll the water potential is approximately the same in the neighboring xylem like the water potential is same all over if the transcribe trans 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 if the transportation of the water into the air is not done yet theek hai to water potential takriban sare parts of the plant mein same hoga okay oh, yet the components of water potential are quite different phir bhi inka water potential different hoga because xylem vessels are are larger as compared to the leaf cells so the dominant component of water potential the xylem is negative pressure whereas in the leaf cell is generally positive This larger difference occurs across the plasma membrane of leaf cells. Within the leaf cells, uh, water potential is reduced by a high concentration of dissolved solutes. Uh, leaf cells has high concentration of dissolved solutes, so as positive water potential. Like water definitely going to move from the xylem towards this because. that's why it has positive water potential and xylem has low amount of solute inside its cells so it has definitely going to be the negative water potential because high solute concentration is there is not there that is it for spec theory hope you guys liked it and if you like it then please subscribe to my channel thank you so much allah hafiz